Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you're looking to view security cameras from a PC, Mac, laptop, then this is the guide you need to do that. This process works with Dawa systems, but it also will work with some of the LTS, uh, Lorex, ENS, and Alibi systems, depending on the make and models that you have. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is download Smart PSS. So in Google, if you just type in Smart PSS, it'll bring up this first page here, Dawa Wiki. So we click here and here is our download. I'm on a Windows computer. Here's the download for Mac. Before we download, we want to take note that this system is being depreciated. So they're not going to be supporting this anymore. So we're going to move over here to the new download link and it'll bring us to this page. Very similar. The only thing we're doing is going to click here on the Windows download. Now, I have this downloaded already download it fairly quick though so we'll click here and I'm gonna go through uh, the complete installation uh, like it's a brand new installation I uninstalled the the software before creating a video just so we can walk through the entire setup so if we double click um, we we'll say yes here and select the language and check the software agreement so now we're gonna do next and then install and the, the, the software is made by Dawa, but a lot of security camera providers or manufacturers go under this Dawa brand and they just rebrand their cameras under this parent company. And that's why this software will, will work with um, multiple brands. So before clicking finish, we're gonna check run smart PSS Lite. Uh, we'll hit finish. And then here in a minute, we should get that app to to start up here shortly. It's down here at the bottom. I'm not there. It is. OK, so the first thing we're going to really the only thing we're looking at on this one today is just the video monitor. So if you check here and hit OK, it should pull up here shortly. Hopefully just thinking about it. There it is. OK, so a bunch of license agreements. Uh, we scroll through, check, hit agree. You might not even have to scroll through, actually check, hit agree and then password. So this is going to be the password that you use to log into the software on your computer. It's not necessarily the password to your NVR or your DVR. You could make it the same, but it's up to you. So we'll just put in a password. All right, and then we're gonna do auto login after registration. This is just so once you close the application out, the next time you open the application back up, it'll auto log you in, right? So we'll do next. Here, security questions. Um, I'm just gonna put anything here. All right, then we'll hit complete. Now, we should, ah, oh, not now. So this is just their feedback program. I'm just gonna do not now. Now I believe we should have access to the software. There, here we go. All right, so <clears throat> here's the tricky part. You have to click on devices on the bottom left and that's not tricky at all. But when you get ready to add your device, if you're on the same network as your NVR or your DVR, let's say this is for home, you have a home NVR and your computer is also on that same network, whether it's Wi-Fi, whether it's hardwired, then you can just do auto search. You click auto search and it'll pull up all the devices that are compatible that's on your network. So here we have an NVR, right? So I could add this NVR because this is my home NVR and I'm on the same network. But let's say, you know, you're home, but you want to be able to see the cameras from your office or from work or, or, or something like that. We would then go to add. When you're here, the first thing we'll do is we'll give the device a name. 
I'm just going to say car wash. Under mode, we want to change the IP domain to serial number. Okay. On your NVR, in order for this to work, you will need to pull the serial number off the NVR and input it here. Once you have the serial number here, you will log in, you know, normally username, password that you would use for the NVR, not the software. And then that should allow us to connect. But before we connect that, I'm just going to see if I can pull up uh, NVR so I can kind of show you where um, the serial number is located. So this is the 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 setup or the, the graphical uh, user interface for this particular NVR. Yours may look a little bit different, but the main thing we're looking for is going to be network. So sometimes it's under settings, you know, um, could be under main menu. It may have its own tab up here, but on, on this one, network is right here. So we'll click network. Normally, when you click network, it'll bring you straight to TCP IP or, or like the um, actual IP address of the NVR itself or the IP address of the cameras. So down here at the bottom, we have P2P. And again, on your NVR, this could be, you know, anywhere on this screen, but this is the main thing we're looking for, P2P. This is going to show us our serial number here. Um, so you'd have a QR code and a serial number. Sometimes you won't have the actual serial number to show at the bottom of the QR code, but you could just take your phone, scan the QR code, and then your phone will read out the serial number. And, and from there, you know, you just copy it into that into the uh, application. So, look, I'm going to go back uh, and see if we can input this and see if it works. So username is going to be admin. It's almost always admin. And then we'll do the password here. And do add when you first add it's going to say offline this should turn to online if we do it right and look there it is right there okay so from now from here we know that the system is online we go back to home and now we can click live view so once we click live view our car wash is right here if we click the drop down it'll show us you know, everything that we have available to view. Uh, yeah. And there it is. You click, you drag, you drop. And there are your cameras. So it's really not that difficult to do. Um, you know, the main thing is, do you have the serial number? And if you don't have this serial number, you know, you may want to, um, you know, make sure you have that before you start this process, just so you can follow along and, you know, step by step, get everything added in. And I mean, that's really it. If you follow this, you know, these few steps, then hopefully you've successfully installed Smart PSS Lite and you can view your cameras remotely. You know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them uh, to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching.